Nice job, Yono. No, why am I why am I not resetting? It's within 30 seconds of the start. I love playing the first 30 seconds. Yeah, no problem. I don't think I mentioned it in the... Uh, I feel like I mentioned it in... I, don't, I feel like there's somewhere I must have mentioned it. If not, I should probably put that out there. But, I mean, whenever anyone asks about speedrunning, that's... Geez. I'm dashing literally a few frames too early. Not exactly that close, but just about. It's honestly just better if I were to resolve myself to just dash late. I mean, it still saves time. I did? Okay. <laughs> as long as I mentioned it somewhere, and it's not like some super crazy secret thing. That's the reason I put 1.2 in miscellaneous, because like you can play 1.0 still. You can play 1.3 obviously, since it's out, <laughs> and it's the current patch. But you can't really play 1.2 anymore, and there's differences between 1.2 and 1.3, other than like the multiplayer stuff that actually affects the run, so I think it's fair just to put that in misc so that it's not if someone has a run that already exists, or there's like a run on the leaderboard, um, there's still a place for that, but it's not. People know where to actually put their current runs, I guess. Thinking I should probably do that for also like the beta patches that are there too. I don't know if people can really play those anymore. is no longer the perfect run, as if the fact that I didn't get a gold split didn't already iterate that. Uh, I was hopeful when I ran to the wall to the enemy. Unsurprisingly, walls do not take damage like enemies do. I don't know what lets you do that, honestly, where where you can move after you're... Blowing air out of your trunk. I'm just gonna mash so much for that. Pessimist it is, honestly. It is adorably cute and extremely broken. Watch, magnet grip. <laughs> one of one of Yano's strange superpowers is his ability to grab things from very strong, very far away when it's falling past him. He also has the ability to fly, but he has to have his super medallion, aka a key to float slowly up into the air, which we're going to bring with us. But yeah, I learned, I think I started learning this like two days ago. Like I said before, when I when I get the bug to, to actually learn a game, which is extremely rare for me, like I, I kind of just run the same games and I just run them straight into the ground. But when I get the book to learn a game, I just I have to take advantage of it in like the small amount of time that it still is going for. Cause I had that happen with I think Skyrim and there's another game. But like I, I was in the process of learning it, but I kinda was taking my time too much. And then I just lost the urge to learn speedruns. I was like, alright, whatever. Alright. Pretty good, Hedgehog. 
tunnel. Uh, I'm probably gonna get hit. I wanted to hit him again, but it's yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let him live. Well, he would have lived anyways. But hush. <laughs> well, let me pretend that I would have killed him. Yeah, it's probably not an uncommon thing. I know some people that can just little. It's like every week they're learning a new game. It's like, I can't do that. <laughs> I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. I wish. Like some people like just they'll know like. Half-Life and like Mirror's Edge and like all these crazy games that take a lot of learning. It's like, how did you learn all this? All right, chicken buddy, I will show you the world if the world means a corner over here. I mean, it's, it's further than this chicken's gone before, so, you know, I'm broadening its horizon. I didn't actually hit my split key, but it somehow worked. Appreciate that keyboard. Oh, nice. How are you enjoying the run for that? I was like, I don't really follow many people that do runs of it. I never go out of my way to look at it. Learning Half-Life isn't that hard. What category did you uh, learn for Half-Life? Like, it would be a cool game to know. It's one of those games that would be really good just to like instantly be good at. I was, I was trying to think like, I think I've like talked about this before, but like, I, what game would you choose if you could pick any and you would just instantly become like amazingly good at it? I think I would pick Dust Force. As someone that's like barely even played Dust Force, it just looks really cool when you get good at it. And there's such a high skill ceiling, so if I could just instantaneously become good at it, That'd be kind of dandy. I feel like hard scriptless is what I usually see people do. Alright, don't run into the spikes again, please. You ran into the spikes again! It was all your fault. Definitely not mine. Yeah, oh, well, you are a little bit behind the eight ball. You just learned it. I don't know. I don't. It feels like it just came out, but I know it's like probably been like at least six months or something. Wild. That's kind of been happening a lot. Like it just feels like yesterday when Hat and Time came out. And there's always there's already like a billion people that have started speedrunning and stuff like that. <clears throat> mhm. Mm I mean that's usually how I do it. When I learn runs, I'll learn like I'll follow around with a guide or. Um, a record, and I'll just I'll do like the first level or the first world, and I'll do that a few times until I feel good about it. Um, and then I'll do the I'll do the next world until I feel good about it, and then at that point, when I feel like I've learned that world well enough, I'm hitting him the wrong way. I want to hit him towards the whatever. It doesn't really matter that much. We're doing it the normal way! Or not the normal way. We're doing it the intended way. I don't even need my key with me. It's pointless at this point. Yeah. I've had that problem with Oblivion before. Um, my load times are pretty bad. And we don't have load removers. How do you preload it? You just open it and close it. Or the map, not the game. I keep missing the uh, split for Troll Moss. Don't go off the edge. Please save it. Save it. I don't know if I can save it. Nope, that's off the edge. So what I'll do before I do runs is I'll just go through each map and just open it up one by one. I think I, so the, I don't know if you've seen the 1.3 guide I have, but I think I mentioned it there. Since it's not, anything that's like not obvious, just watching a run, I try to really emphasize. Okay, good. Obviously not that good, but. My uh, troll moss must have been really good then. 
The, diff the major difference with uh, 1.0 is that water is a lot easier, the opening section for it. And, um... Aztec obviously doesn't exist, and extended climbing is really easy. I'm curious if they intentionally patched uh, extended climbing out of the game. Or not patched it out, but made it a lot tougher. Because you can still do like the um, swinging method of it. Where you kind of really slowly go up something. But at that point, it's slower than just doing no extended climb. No, a bad sign. Yeah, hit the sign. I get my buttons mixed up so much playing this game. I mean, I've just started playing it, but... Still. Make it on the right cycle, which is always nice. Whoops, wrong way. Yeah, current patch, even getting a little bit of extended climbing. If you can do a little bit of extended climbing on 1.3, you can do it super easy on 1.0 after like five or ten minutes of just like sitting there and being like, oh yeah, this is really easy. Um, let me just throw it again. Not over. That was... I'm always gonna be scared whenever I have to throw anything near the loading zone or like a kind of walled off area like that. Good. Thank you. I didn't get bopped this time. Well, I'm happy that the videos were helpful for people. As long as it helps somebody. Even if it's just one person, it's like, well, it helps somebody. It was worth making. I just kind of take for granted what I know about it. It's like, well, if you're trying to get into it, it can seem like really weird watching Static Line video. I had to kind of figure it out myself, but I, I obviously got the game. I wasn't one of the first people that ran it. Um, the... There was a beta version, there was a ton of runners for that. They're all... I forgot what nationality they all were, but they all were from the same place. Wherever... I'm assuming we're from wherever the dev was. Okay, cool. That went pretty smoothly. I felt pretty good about that. I'm trying to think if I had a major mistake. In my PB I did, but... Yeah, key inputs is crazy important. I'm trying to remember the name of the program. I can't off the top of my head. Something really simple. Okay, I didn't wait for him to get out of that corner, which could have been kind of dangerous, but... Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm like, I'm forgetting something. I wonder what it is. It's like, oh yeah, the key needs to go there. Yeah, I was planning on eventually making like Oblivion, uh, no out of bounds uh, tutorial stuff, but never quite got around to making those. Yeah, no board is pretty common program for that, which is the one I tend to use. Can't really, I don't think I know any other ones, honestly. <laughs> that was really weird. I was just outside the range of where I needed to be for it to count. I should have stood up before my or after my last run died, because now it's like really uncomfortable to sit this long. Sitting up and like shaking your legs out and just standing uh, is really important <laughs> when you're streaming or speedrunning. They can do a number on you, like not to the extent where it's like 
how it is with some people where people have like died because they've got like blood clots because they've done like 24 hours but it's still it's not good for your health to be sitting for multiple hours on end so life health tip don't don't do that <laughs> Start a good habit, like every run or two, depending on how long your runs are, or in the middle of your runs if it's really long. Just like shake your legs out. Get in a good habit of that. That should work. Yep. During this, you can move. Good. It's about where I wanted to be. Oh, oops. Hey. Unsurprisingly, I want to move towards the dude. Oh, I was about to leave the room, which I guess wouldn't have been a bad thing to do. Yeah, it's... I think there's, like, programs that'll just, like, set a timer for you and it'll mention that. Which is not a bad option either. I know it seems silly, but it's important. That and drinking water. It's like, half my stream is just water advocation. The National Water Association should give me a medal for all the work I've done. Okay, let's press the wrong key twice so I have to look down and like actually figure out what the right one is. Good. That's a lot quicker than I did in my run. Thankfully my job is to like run around with kids and like show them how to play soccer. So like it's kind of part of the territory. Thank goodness. So it just kind of gets me moving. Hey. 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 And that's why the standing desks are becoming more popular. Because then you can work while you're um, in kind of a more natural position. Obviously, I don't have one of those. I don't even have a good chair. I need to. I need to get a good chair. I need to put money towards it. Hey, it's worth the investment. I just don't know what chair to get. Haha, -ha, trying to hurt me. Trying to do your job and kill an elephant. It's not gonna work because this elephant is a speedrunner. Mm hmm Working out's crazy important for mental health as well as physical. Just doing something, like, something, and then I guess an idea that I was exposed to was like, if you're doing something like watching a video and you're not doing anything, if you just have some dumbbells, it's really a small thing you can do is just do those a little bit while you're watching so you're you're at least you're not standing idly around or that's standing but sitting idly <clears throat> whoops it's trying to make the same mistake as last time and do my steps out of order all right let's warn it unheat this so we can lift this um i actually probably want to push it now it doesn't really matter We want the chilies so we can set it back on fire. And then when we're up there, we want to get the peanuts so we can toggle the switch that's behind the cage. Then once we toggle the switch behind the cage, we want to do this, lock on. Oops, I've made a grave error. It's all right, this is not a hard fix. It is, because I have to go get another peanut, but it's okay. Compared to how the Queen's Dungeon Went to my PB. This is okay. Oh, I'm still holding peanuts. Whatever. At this point, it's not fast for me to shoot them. I just might as well go. It would have been. Devs, devs, devs. It's not even like I. That room's mind-boggling because it's like not really even a puzzle. It's not that hard. Some 
peanuts. Chili. Try this once. Um, that was not the button I meant to press. Oops. That's really bad, actually. Okay, good. At least I hit it with my final peanut, so I don't have to go get more. <gasps> I did it! <laughs> okay, that makes up for the mistake I made. I've never practiced that or done anything with it. I just watched the record and saw that he did it, <laughs> and I'm like... I'm like, I should do that too. That's how I learned speedruns. It's like, that guy does that. That's my shit. Alright, good. Got into attack early. D pad, please don't fail me now. Please get hit. Thank you. What do I do? I'm currently. Well, I'm eventually going to be doing cybersecurity stuff, but right now I'm doing a soccer program for like five to eight year olds. Where um, I teach them. It's like an eight week program where we teach them soccer. Yeah. Soccer, obviously, it's the emphasis, but all the uh, teamwork and good uh, life stuff is kind of the focus as well. Sorry, I was like, I was trying to focus on the fight since I failed it last run. So like, I was probably rambling there, but yeah. Do soccer mm -hmm. stuff at the uh, like daycares and like uh, elementary schools and stuff. Which is fun, but I'm also a college student. That should be a pretty good run. Not bad at all. I actually hit that thing for once, my goodness. Like I split late there and I still saved like a good at least minute and a half. This will not be a bad run at all. Let's get dash. Alright, let's not do anything dumb. I'm not gonna be able to beat this split though. I mean let's be let's be serious here guys. This split is unbeatable. The way I was mashing there, the way I hit that split was brutal. It's good times. Good speed. We we went quickly. We saved a ton of time in the dungeon, which is what we needed. Uh, we lost time in the Sunder Gardens, which is annoying, since that's really easy. We lost some time in the Troll Moss Forest, I believe. I mean, it was a good run. I, I beat it again, somehow. My movement must have been better outside of it. So that's 2249 on my first day of doing speedruns. Yay! Please, please speedrun this game. It's a lot of fun. It's so broken, and all the skips are pretty simple to learn. So, like, this would be really good as a first speedrun, because it's fun, the game is really cute, the music's good, there's a guide that exists on it that has almost everything, and it's really broken. Did I mention it's broken? Thank you for the GG's, Verus. That's good. I'm happy about this. I mean, I'm not 